All right, Trey Turner, this. I hit record, so we're recording Trey Turner. T Trey Turner, <laughs> slow motion. Uh, this is cool. This is a home run. He hit the left field. Um, check out where this pitch is. Okay, so we have the front view. This pitch uh, may not even be a strike. And he is able to keep his barrel inside so that he doesn't hook it too much. Kind of a cool view here from the front. So I'm going to back this thing up a little bit so that we can see when he starts moving. So we got, you know, the pitchers breaking, right? Breaking his hands. And as he brings his arm back and up, what is Turner doing? He's bringing his foot up. Perfect timing because he's got a pretty good leg kick. And then when the ball's released there, we've talked about this at just about every single analysis we've done, you want to have your foot at the top of your stride. Okay, You don't want to be still going up. So if we look at Turner here, he's on his way down, out of the hand. There's the hand. He's on his way down. That gives him time to get his foot down, but also keep his hands back. So he doesn't have to cheat his upper body, right? He doesn't have to cheat, cheat his hands through. So he's very square if you look at his toe line. His toe line is probably parallel to the batter's box line. Okay, so he's he didn't really dive on this and he didn't step out on this. So, you know, was he cheating? I don't think he was cheating physically to this pitch. Maybe mentally he was looking for a pitch in. I don't know. But it's pretty impressive to be able to, to keep this pitch fair and to get barrel. But if we look right at Kata, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I can. So we're going to zoom. We're going to zoom in. Watch as he extends how he holds that barrel off. See how he hasn't rolled his wrists over yet until way out there in his follow through. So, you know, for those of you, you know, I always talk to our online academy members because this is another learning experience for you, you know, watching these. Uh, but notice how, you know, as he makes contact here, I'm going to try to get a line on his bat here. So his vertical bat angle is only about 27 degrees on a pitch at his thighs. But notice after contact, if I draw a line through his bat, it's parallel to that line. Okay, so he had no wrist manipulation. He didn't drop his barrel more, and he didn't flip his barrel more. So what he's doing is he's keeping that barrel working through on the same angle, which means he's not manipulating his hands a little bit. So pretty cool move there, um, and, and most big leaguers that are successful do it. Check out his front foot, because a lot of people are going to yell at a player through contact. So here's contact. Watch his front foot. He spins on his heel to open up and clear. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Why? Why did it have to do that? Well, it, it, it's somewhat closed at heel plant. Okay, not everybody's closed at heel plant. Some people are a lot more open. But he's able to keep his front, front foot closed even while his front knee and front hip are opening right there. So what happens? You better clear that hip out of the way, buddy and he's able to spin on that front heel. So again, these are things that I don't teach players. I don't teach players to spin on their front heel um, or come off the ground with their front heel. But if somebody does it, I'm certainly not going to change them. So let's go ahead and go through here. Uh, this is the side view now we're looking at. Um, so, you know, and, and what Jim was saying, you know, he gets, he's got a lot of moving parts, you know, he's kind of a, you know, he's a lot taller than most people think. He's got long limbs. You know, and he's got a pretty big leg kick here. You can see that bat, you know, right next to his head. The knob facing the catcher, the bat right over his shoulder there. Okay. He has a little bit of instability in his right knee. If you look at his knee when he picks up his stride foot, that knee wobbles a little bit and faces right there back towards the catcher. Okay. Not an ideal <laughs> stable move if you're teaching someone. You probably want to try to correct that, but he's able to get away with it. Um, and then as he comes out of his stride, once he gets to heel plant, you know, very balanced. I wish it didn't say slow motion right there so we could see where his back foot was. But he gets to a great heel plant position. You can see his chest is his closed. His chest is facing behind home plate. His hips are opening, but it's not like they're facing home plate. You know, they're, they're very square. He's kept his chest back, especially for a pitch that's middle in. Now all of a sudden he's got to make up and really rotate fast with those hips. But even though he rotates fast, watch how the, the knob of the bat stays in front of his back elbow as he pulls here. So he's still using his arms. He's creating space between, even though it's an inside pitch, so many players get bottled up, so many players just wanna spin their shoulders, okay? He's creating space, getting his hands out in front of his chest, 
God forbid somebody would call that like a push of the hands right there. Jeez, that's the only way to keep that ball fair without killing a guy in the dugout. Okay, and then even though we know where this pitch is, right, but look at his extension. I mean, his right arm is, do you know how hard that is on a pitch inside? His right arm is fully extended after contact, okay? A couple frames after contact. You can see his front knee pushing back. He's pushing back through his heel, his hamstring, his glute, his back shin is super low to the ground. That's when we were talking about he gets really low because if you look at his, and it's hard, we don't have a great, um, you know, frame rate here. It's not like the super, it may be slow motion, Arizona Diamondbacks television, but it's not a very good frame rate. So, you know, it, I, his barrel never gets underneath that green line. That green line is the pitch. His barrel never drops. He just catches that ball over the, you know, or catches it, gets his barrel on that green line, catches it in the middle of the green line. And again, he hit this ball out of the park to left field. So it's it's a cool it's a cool swing for me because and you can see here's the exit trajectory of the ball, right? So if we do a little CSI action here, where did he make contact? Where those balls are intersecting. Okay, right there. So he made contact in front of his front toes. Good right arm. Okay. You can see his right arm angle is at point of contact. Oh no, this is no his barrel's right right about there. You know, he's over 100 and, yeah, he's at 128 degrees. He probably hit it at 115. Again, those are numbers uh, very difficult when I see players hitting pitches middle in. They, they try to just kind of alligator arm everything, and, and a lot of times that, that right arm angle is at 90 to 100 degrees. So this is, this is great. And, and, and what I like about him is, you know, he's fast and he's not very – he's not – He's strong, but he's not like a, a, a massive guy. So Trey Turner, when he was 16 or 17, I don't know, but I'm guessing he was 150 pounds. Like he looks to me like he was probably 100, maybe 165 pounds when he was a junior in high school. Okay. He wasn't 200 pounds. And so his swing was set up for that. Like he was a flat swinger. There's no reason to dump the barrel and hit fly balls when you're 160 pounds because those fly balls aren't going to go out of the park. But yet it still plays. So even though, you know, he's now, I don't know what he weighs, 195 pounds or so, that would be my guess. Um, you know, even though he's he's he, he's bigger now and he's stronger and he's super athletic, he kind of kept his line drive swing. It's just now those line drives go, you know, 390 feet instead of 290 feet. So uh, great swing. We can learn a lot from this because this is a swing that I would try to teach a, a 10-year-old. Okay, this is a swing plane I would teach a 10-year-old. Absolutely. Uh, maybe not, you know, having his knee wobble like that. Um, but from launch to contact, it is it is a thing of beauty. Getting down and into his right leg, pushing back with his front leg, creating a nice angle there from his front shin all the way back up through his hip. Hip. I would absolutely teach this to um, any young player because you can always change from there. You can always you're going to find barrels with this swing, and then if you become big and slow then okay, we can, you know, maybe drop the barrel a little bit more so our misses are in the air instead of, you know, for 230 pounds or 240 pounds, we don't run well. Now all of a sudden we can, you know, our misses can be fly balls to right field that go 390 feet, you know, in, instead of a ground ball somewhere. So um, anyway, I'm a, I'm a big Justin Turner fan. And then that one slide he had into home plate where he slid and popped up and he looked like Superman, that was pretty cool too.